The USS Cod has been a fixture on Cleveland's north coast for several decades. But during her wartime career, the Cod sank a Japanese destroyer, seven supply ships, and 30 enemy vessels. Currently an aquatic museum, the Cod has had thousands come learn more about the sub's glorious past. Ben Hobart shows us another part of the sub's history was hoisted into place today, adding to the attraction. You're watching skilled workers carefully move into place a 15,000-pound weapon actually used in World War II. And if you're wondering, that's about seven tons. When the COD was given to curators, all of the guns had been removed. The COD Coordinating Committee has been on a 16-year crusade to bring this big gun to Cleveland. Its installation caps off a major renovation project lasting four years. It's a labor of love, and sometimes we feel overpaid. John Bacon is the president of the COD Committee and says the five-inch gun was located in a Navy museum in Keepport, Washington. While the artifact was given to the COD free of charge, the cost of getting it here was not. That headache was averted when National Engineering Company donated their services. This is very unique, like the Statue of Liberty, and it's right here in Cleveland. It's uh, the only one that hasn't had holes chopped in it, uh, like others around the country. This is just the way it was when it uh, served uh, this country in World War II. Twenty-five percent of the men serving on the USS Cod lost their lives in the line of duty. About 30,000 people have taken advantage of the history lesson available by touring the sub. Thank God they're not shooting at it. Now, we've given you some facts and figures and an exterior view of this military exhibit, but the real thrill can only be found by personally going deep down inside the hull of the sub. Tours are available daily. Ben Holbert reporting for the 10 o'clock news. The surviving crewmen of the USS Cod will have a reunion here in Cleveland starting September 1st. The celebration will conclude with a rededication of the submarine.